Hello everyone! In this tutorial, we'll teach you how to control the servo. Before that, we need to prepare Raspberry Pi, driver board, power supply cable, and servo. The Raspberry Pi driver board can control up to 16 servos at a time and uses pulse width modulation, in short PWM, to control the steering angle of the servo. We connect these two servos to any PWM port. Pay attention not to connect reversely. Here we connect to the PWM7 and the PWM8. We can refer to these methods to send the program to the Raspberry Pi to run. And next we look at the program. Need to import the time library to control the delay time. Import the library used to control the Raspberry Pi servo. If you haven't installed this library, run the command inside the Raspberry Pi terminal. sudo pi3 install adafruit pc8 a 5 Here we instantiate the object used to control the servo. Set the frequency according to the servo file. Set to 50 Hz. Next, define the middle position, extreme position of the servo. Then start to let the servo move. This method needs to pass three parameters which are the servo you need to control, offset, and PWM. This line makes the rocker arm of servo 7 move to the minimum limit of the PWM, and this one makes it move to the maximum limit of the PWM. One second delay between the two movements. The following code uses the same method to control the servo 8. This is a relatively simple method of servo control. Next is a slightly more complicated one, using a loop function to allow the servo to move slowly. Based on the method and include a little, you can use the Raspberry Pi to make a robot. 